Hi, I'm Ron Pars from parpools.com, and as we continue looking at the six keys to good spa and hot tub water care, we come to the final key, and that's key number six. And key number six is, in in my uh, opinion, it's probably the the single most important key. And the name of this key is spa, purge, drain, and refill. The great thing about uh, about this key is that if you're running into any kind of serious problems, whether they be water problems or even skin and, and, and breathing problems, a lot of those problems can be addressed directly when you purge, drain, and refill the spa. We can fix a whole bunch of severe problems. We, we do recommend this process of purging, draining, and refilling instead of adding water clarifiers and anti-foams and that type of product. Typically, when your spa is getting so foamy that you have to use an anti-foam, or the water is so cloudy that it just, you don't want to go in there, that's a good sign that the water needs to be changed. And so when we want to change the water, we want to do that. When you see that excess foaming, and when you see that cloudiness, Think of water in a bathtub after one person has, has used it. And keep in mind that when you're sitting in a spa, you're kind of, in the long run, making soap. And to make soap, you need three things. You need heat or hot water, which you have in a hot tub. You need higher pH, which you typically have in a spa or hot tub. You have a higher pH of 7.8 to 8.2 a lot of the time. And third and foremost, you have animal fat. And animal fat is what is, comes out of your body in the form of sweat and, and body oils. So you have all, all of what you need to make soap. And we don't want to make soap in your spa. You just want to enjoy it. Let's look at these, at these three very important steps. The first step is purging. And what we mean by purging is you want to do a tremendous cleaning. And it's not just cleaning of the spa surface. But you want to get in and you want to clean those, all those plumbing lines. You want to clean inside where the, where the filters are. You want to clean inside where the heater is. Because in all of those spots, and even behind jets and, and uh, suction fittings, you can have stuff growing. And we want to eliminate that. And so, in order to get all of that out, we're going to add... You can add one of several different products depending on how severe you may be, se severe problem you may be having, to purge that spa. Uh, you can use if you if if you have even a jetted bathtub. This is a great thing to do. A little bit of uh, put a bottle of swirl away. Put that in about the day before, and that's going to help to break up a lot of the uh, a lot of the films and the biofilms that are growing on the inside of that of those plumbing lines. If you have a more significant problem, then a good, uh, a good enzyme cleaner or spa enzyme, such as Naturally Pure Spa, is great to add. You add a double or triple dosage in about 24 hours before you're going to drain out the spa. Or you can use an Aquafinesse spa cleaning puck. Aquafinesse is, is, is specifically made to, to target the biofilms that are growing on, not only on the spa's surface, but also on those hidden plumbing lines. And when you release all that stuff out, you're also releasing a lot of bacteria and a lot of stuff that you just don't want in there. So that's step one, purging. Step two is draining. Once you get all that stuff loosened up, you want to properly drain out the spa. And you can just put a simple submersible pump that attaches onto a garden hose, drop that in the bottom of, of the spa, and just let it drain out. Once it's drained out, do a physical cleaning of the spa. Use a, use a, use a pad, use a surface cleaner, and just, just do a good cleaning. And don't forget to make sure that you clean around each individual jet. If you have spa pillows, take the pillows off and clean behind those pillows. All of those areas are where, are where excess bacteria can and does grow. Remember in our video about spa cleaning, which is the third key, we talked about some of the, some of the body rashes and whatnot. 
And we're going to talk more about that when we, when we talk about biofilms and spa mold later on. Finally, once you get the spa clean, drained and then cleaned, now it's time to refill the spa. You can fill it off, off of your garden hose, which is what most people do. If you're in an area where you know that, that, there are, that there are biofilms coming in off of your garden hose, you may want to invest in something with, a, with an inline filter, such as a, a pristine fil filter. What this can do for you is it will remove a lot of the harmful stuff from the water before it gets into your spa. A filter like this will filter out roughly 1,500 gallons worth of water. So if you have a, have a spa that holds 500 gallons, you can use this up to three times. Between each use, make sure that it is drained out and then put it in your refrigerator. That will keep down any bacterial buildup. What a filter like this will do is it will remove trihalomethanes. Those are stinky stuff that, that just get in there and they feed bacteria. It can remove excess heavy metals. It can uh, large su suspended solids or organic contaminants. And the less stuff that you put in, the less stuff you have to deal with. Finally, once you get your spa drained and, and operating, as the water's coming up, consider leaving the cover off. And the reason why we want to do that is whatever excess um, uh, products that have been brought into the water, they are allowed to gas off. So that just gets you started with a good clean slate. For further information on purging, draining, and refilling your spa, you can visit our website at parpools.com forward slash six spa keys. You can also email me at techhelp at parpools.com. In the meanwhile, enjoy your spa, and thanks for watching.